the head impulse testing was always done subjectively, which means we perform their test sitting in front of the patient, looking into the patient's eyes, and subjectively evaluating if they had a deficit or not. I'm not so sure that we saw it every time, but anyway, we tried. And after acquiring the ICS impulse test, I've done it on all my patients as well. And we have had close to 300 patients through the clinic now in half a year. And it's very easy to fit the goggles on the patient, and it takes around a few seconds or a bit more to to do their calibration and then you're ready to go. And within two minutes, you've probably done all the impulses you want to do. Just give you the result right there. And it's hard to ignore the results when you get them. I mean, you can, you can always go back and do it next time the patient comes back and then you can compare them. You just get a very visual result out that is easy to explain to the patients. So for the professional that has to look at the result, it's easy and you test one ear individually at a time and it gives you an absolute figure of how their the inner ear works. If you individually can take each of the end organ and objectify how they function, then you can very fast diagnose the patient by having a history and then all the objective tests. Yeah. And the faster you can do it, the better. It's very nice to know for sure if the patient have a problem on their inner ear or not. And the video health impulses definitely give you that certainty.